was a real traffic nightmare and super dangerous for anybody outside a car. Lucy Maloney's children go to Lord Roberts Elementary School in the West End. She says she's disappointed the city of Vancouver isn't moving forward with the Comox year-round school street project that would have turned this block into a permanent car-free plaza with barriers. This street was always super congested with traffic trying to get up and down the street. Maloney says back in 2021, the city of Vancouver worked with the elementary school and set up a school street pilot program. For 45 minutes at pick up and drop off every school day, this block from Bidwell to Cadero was car free. After the pilot project ended in the 2021 school year, volunteers picked it up and kept it going. The school community did everything we could to make sure we demonstrated how wonderful school streets are for our community and how great it would have been to make this permanent so that we didn't need to rely on volunteer labour to run the school street. She says they had to end the program because it was a struggle to find volunteers year-round. The City of Vancouver's Manager of Community Transportation says earlier this year they started looking into the possibility of bringing it back and talked to neighbours. We heard some excitement for improving safe school active travel options, as well as we heard some significant concerns about accessibility, the loss of potential access to that block, um, parking loss, primarily from adjacent residents. All for a few parking spaces. We sacrifice children for parking. Chen Yang Boon with Vision Zero Vancouver says cars shouldn't be the priority. Listen to the children, right? Actually, the city, the city staff even did this. They went and they surveyed the children and all of them, all of them said they loved this project and they wanted it to continue. A city report on the school street program suggests 92% of students said they felt safer with the car free pilot and 74% of parents want the program to continue. This fall, um, we're planning to come back both to the school community and um, the adjacent sort of residents uh, to provide an update on next steps. Maloney says having a car free street next to the school made her feel more at ease. It was just magical. You'd have kids playing games. She says the city will be adding a two-way bike lane on the proposed car-free block next year. But it isn't enough. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.